Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, since 1990, Romania reduced its greenhouse gas emissions by more than two-thirds while multiplying its GDP. Currently, Romania has one of the lowest levels of such emissions per capita in the European Union. We firmly pledge to further accelerate reaching the net zero target. Romania will phase out coal by 2030 and bring into eco-compliance coal mining sites by 2032. Two billion euro were recently committed nationally to renewable energy generation, storage and transport, as well as energy efficiency through the Repower EU instrument. Romania is home to some of the largest European training centers for renewable energy technicians, including from developing countries. Romania is also an increasingly attractive host to solar panels and batteries manufacturing. My diplomatic engagements with Latin American leaders this spring enhanced our dialogue on circular economy and in approaching the green transition. Fellow leaders, we witnessed the intensification of the devastating impact of climate change. We need to do more to protect vulnerable states and communities. The environment and climate change will constitute a priority for Romania's official development assistance for the next four years. Romania has built in recent years a network of international partnerships on emergency situations and disaster response, response, contributing to the consolidation of early warning systems. Over the next period, we will expand this network with more countries from Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean. Romania also works towards adapting agriculture to climate change and for improving access to food worldwide. Given our successful record in Malawi and Tanzania, we aim at expanding such programs, especially to African countries, in the next two years. Ladies and gentlemen, climate change knows no national boundary and no country or citizen is sheltered from its impact. Let's be clear. We need to be brave in our decisions and actions. Thank you.